Hello English learners, this is Michael from ewmichael.com and today I would like to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. Now this is quite a simple grammar rule, but it can make a really big difference in how fluent your English sounds. So let's have a look. So all nouns can be sorted into two groups, it's countable and uncountable. A countable noun is something that we can count. So we can use numbers or we can use a or an. So for example, two phones, one banana, a water bottle. So these are all countable nouns because we can say one banana, two banana, three banana, we can count them. So those are the easy ones. The tricky ones are uncountable nouns. So we cannot count these. Some of them may be a bit obvious, like water. We cannot say one water, two water. So more examples will include rice. We can't say two rice or bread. Um, many abstract things as well, like knowledge. So it's not possible to say, I have two knowledge. It doesn't make any sense. Uncountable nouns are always singular. So we wouldn't say there are bread. We would always say there is bread. Regardless of the amount, it always is. If you want to talk about the quantity of an uncountable noun, how much there is, there are other words we can use, such as some, a bit of, a lot of, there is a bit of rice there is some rice, there is a lot of rice. So that talks about how much, roughly, not exactly. Another way to count an uncountable noun is to talk about the container or what, what is holding it. So you could say there are two bags of rice or five glasses of water. So in this case, we're not counting the water, we're counting the glasses because glass is a countable noun. The difference between many and much is also very important. So many can only be used for countable nouns. Much, of course, only for uncountable nouns. So for example, I have many friends. I can count my friends, one, two, three. Maybe I don't have more than three, but I can say I have many friends. You know, three, maybe as many. Another example is eggs. Eggs are countable. So I could say, I have many eggs. I want many eggs. But I wouldn't say, I want much eggs or much friends. Much is for uncountable nouns. So we could say, I have so much food. There is too much water. The last piece of advice I want to share is the difference between amount and number. So again, number is only for countable nouns. So we might say there's a large number of chickens outside. You can count chickens, so there's a number of chickens. Or look at the number of books on my bookshelf. We wouldn't say there's a large amount of chickens. It's a little bit unnatural. So for uncountable things, we can say with amount. For example, the amount of bad behavior is unacceptable. So you cannot count behavior. It's the amount of bad behavior. But there is not a large amount of milk left. And that's all I wanted to share. So it's quite a simple grammar rule. It takes a little bit of practice to remember and to memorize, but once you get it, you'll never forget. If you want to practice even more, why not leave a comment below this video and give me your example using maybe one of the words amount or many or much or number, or you can give me another noun and tell me if you think it's countable or uncountable. But that's all for today. So until next time, bye bye.